So uh, one of the questions that I often get asked is, um, how do I know if my website has been hit by an algorithmic update or if it's if it's just another website that was doing um, better than me? Um, this is a this is a hard question to answer because um, many times, um, even though you it appears that you've been hit by an update, it's often not the update that has affected you, um, but something else that was done to your website maybe a week or so before the update was announced that has affected your uh, website's rankings. So it's it's really important to keep in mind, um, and this is what I tell all of my clients is that. Do not assume that because your website's uh, traffic has fallen coincides with an update means that it was hit by an update. It most often it isn't. It was not hit by an update. It's spe specifically not the update that was recently announced um, because that update usually kicks in weeks later, sometimes even months later. So even after it has. You know, completed rolling out, um, it's hitting websites because there are billions of websites on Google and Google can't hit all the websites at the same time and not all the countries at the same time and you know not, not everyone is going to be affected at the same time. So everyone is affected differently at different times. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, there are two types of Google uh, penalties. Type is a manual penalty. Uh, the manual penalty tool, uh, if you're in Google Webs, if you have Google Web, Google's Webmaster tools installed, the manual checker tool um, will help you identify if there was a manual penalty. Usually there are like 180 uh, messages that Google will send you. The most common messages are uh, your uh, website was hacked, unnatural links to your site, unnatural links from your site, thin content with title and no added value, cloaking, um, cloaked images, pure spam, user generated spam, spam, you know, there's a whole host of messages um, that Google will send you. So this is assuming that you've checked your Google Webmaster tools um, and there are no manual penalties. If there are no manual penalties and your traffic has dropped and an update was recently uh, announced by Google, then these three tools will help you identify um, if your website was hit by the algorithmic uh, filters um, and then you can take action accordingly. Uh, I, I usually like to start with um, SEMrush sensor um, and one of the reasons is because SEMrush sensor is highly um, accurate and um, it, it has been around, been around for a while um, so you know, the, the, the data it provides is, is, is very good. So um, taking a slightly more um, medial approach, it shows you a pretty, um, it shows you uh, how, what Google has been doing in the past few weeks. Um, you can also look at the activity within individual niches, um, which is something like extraordinary because you'd be because it shows you specifically if the arts and entertainment uh, niche was hit if the books and um, literature uh, section was hit or if websites that has something to do with travel were hit so you can drill down into the tool further uh, and to add your own websites analysis to it now, this is a very broad analysis and this is not going to tell you exactly if your website was hit but it will tell you if websites in your niche have been experiencing the same issues typically look at every page and keyword you rank for uh, and spit back a bunch of data uh, for your personal SERP volatility um, if you have an SCM rush account um, this is real helpful but you have to pay for an SCM rush account um, generally you know I have an SCM rush account but this is for people who are probably don't have one but if you have one then this will tell you this will give you precise information about your website um, and you can check you know you can also compare your website to other websites in your niche um, but this is overall if you're using the free uh, tool without registering it will give you an overall uh, it, will it will give you overall data which is a very good place to start if you see um, if SEM shows that yes there was uh, the, the, the drop in your traffic does coincide with an update, um, then you can move on um, to 
uh, tool number two. Okay, so um, the next tool that I, I would ask that you use is called Algoroo. This is on an, this is an Australian tool um, which tracks Google's algorithm, originally developed by DGen. I have all the links to these tools in the comments below. Um, so if you're liking the video so far, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I have tons of more videos coming up. So Algoroo is one of the best tools out there and it's it's very accurate. I would say it's probably second to SEMrush, but it gives you information that SEMrush does not and it gives you the information for free. Uh, for instance, the negative and positive moments adds up to create a, a single SERP flux uh, metric called a RU. So a RU can be a positive RU or a negative RU. Usually if it's a high RU value in orange, it means high volatility in Google search results. Whereas if it was a low RU value in green, it means that it's just a, an ordinary day in the office. So for example, if you see uh, that today is, is, is a 1.48 compared to a few days ago, uh, before the Google algorithm update, it was 2.18. Um, you can slide the scale underneath to look back in time and tell uh, exactly uh, what kind of volatility you've been experiencing and if if there were changes in the algorithm generally if you see that your traffic has dropped and it coincides uh, with these fluctuations which which Ru even tracks these micro fluctuations so even if there's a very slight fluctuation in traffic uh, angular Ru tracks that so you, it gives you a lot of data um, you can also see if uh, if uh, your drop in traffic with this algorithm update also coincides with their drop in traffic the last time and this will give you a pattern uh, on which to work on which will tell you uh, if there's something about your website that's, that's causing Google to penal to penalize it um, and then you can go ahead and start to troubleshoot and fix that issue the penguin tool is a very basic um, algorithm checker um, it it, if you log in with your websites, uh, Google Webmasters Tools login, it will show you exactly how your website looks um, compared to the recent updates. And this helps you identify um, problems uh, with traffic and with the update. You can turn off and on certain uh, aspects of the tool. Um, you can also turn on, for instance, the Panda or Penguin update to see if, if that's been affecting your website. Also local rankings and um, structural features. So there's a lot, of, a lot to play around here and these icons make it really simple um, to work through with the tool. Um, if you identify that there's a problem, I think this is, this is a tool that will help you nail down what the problem is. Okay, so the final tool that I like to use is uh, Screaming Frog. And this is after I have identified that you know my traffic has dropped, um, and it has something to do with the Google algorithm update. And I'll go ahead and run Screaming Frog. And the amazing, the great thing about Screaming Frog is that it goes through your entire website. It tells you if there's a, if there's a, if there's pages indexed, not indexed. Ideally, you you want a majority of statuses being marked as OK. Um, and if then if and if it says move permanently, it should be a three or one redirect. Um, it will also tell you if they're missing descriptions, if they're missing alt tags, and if they're missing cano canonical tags. So it's a lot of technical data which you need to fix on your website and you need to run this at least every month if you're updating your website every week. Make sure that you're running Screaming Frog um, and you run Screaming Frog and you fix everything that F Screaming Frog finds uh, incorrect with your website. And only once that's done um, should you then think about making the changes. If making the changes of Screaming Frog does not bring about um, major, I would say, does not bring about a major change um, in a week or two, you can then work towards step two, which is um, auditing your content. I have a video on, a, on content auditing uh, that I did. Uh, you can check that out. Um, you should also check the internal linking structure of your website. I have a video on that, which is called, uh, I think it's called, how to rank for difficult keywords. So make sure that you watch that video and structure your content accordingly. Um, you should also make sure that your content is search optimized. Uh, you surfer SEO phrase, whatever tool you like to use and, and surfer optimize it. Now, finally, before I leave, I just want to say, hey guys, if you like the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for making it possible for me to reach 500 subscribers 
Um, it's been a pleasure and I've got a lot more videos coming up. So I see you guys in the next video.